<laughs> you look like you have to use the restroom. I just want the opening picture that, that's on the YouTube thing to be me going. Okay. So people are like, what's going on? He looks like he's constipated. Yeah, you do actually. Yeah, that's me being inscrutable. Oh, is that what that is? Mystery. <laughs> what's wrong with him? <laughs> people do wonder. Yeah. See, and that makes me more alluring. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Kathy Bertulli from the Intimacy Dojo.com. Yep. And this is Reed Mahako from ReadAboutSex.com. Worst advice person ever. <laughs> Take everything I do, I say, and do the opposite. <laughs> A lot of dating advice talks about keeping the mystery, mm -hmm. not sharing, not, you know, kind of hiding any of your flaws so that they'll like you. What do you have to say? Like I was just doing that in the beginning of this video. <laughs> I don't think they recommend the face. I can't help it. It's my mysterious <laughs> face. Um, my advice on this? Yes. Stop doing it. You're driving each other crazy and you're not learning anything about each other. And you're not role modeling that it's okay to actually be honest and open. Um, I, I'm a big fan of people should be interested in you. Mm -hmm. And the mystery is is like, what are we going to create together? Like, what adventures can can we have? What can we talk about? Not, um, oh, you're so, you know, inscrutable. I'm so turned on. No, don't do that. Like, that's for vacation sex. That's when you're, like, un in Rome or some other country, and they're mysterious because you do not speak their language, and you guys don't know what you're saying to each other. It might have been good advice in the 1950s, 1960s, where you never saw each other, and you're going to die at 65 anyway. Yeah. Just wanted to attract someone and get them, but... Yes, this is true. And it makes for a great romance novel. It does. Everyone's right. wondering what's happening when she has the kid hidden off. And yeah, exactly. She doesn't have children. You know, is Mr. Darby constipated? Mm. It's, I think that's a very... It's a Jane Austen reference. I, I love Jane Austen. Is it Darcy I, or Darby? Darcy. 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 I said Darby? Yeah. I have to do that. See how mysterious <laughs> I am. You don't even know what book he's talking <laughs> about. <laughs> I think the mystery, when people talk about that, there's a lot of books out there. Mm -hmm. Um... And I think there is, it's attractive because then we don't have to share ourselves and we get to hide what we're most ashamed of. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. And in some ways it's easier. Um, and also based on, you know, old paradigms where once you got them married, they couldn't take it back, you know, unless you knew somebody in the church and could get it annulled. So like, wow, I'm actually this person. <laughs> um, but that doesn't work anymore. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're trying to be seductive, um, I, I personally would trade in seductive for flirtatious and playful. Mm -hmm. um, and I would keep the romance. There, there's a whole thing we can do about romantic. What's, what's romance? But the idea of seductive being this mysterious thing, mm -hmm. like that's really a romance novel kind of setting. That's a, that's a movie thing. That's not how you actually live your life. And vet somebody for whether they're a good fit for a relationship. So it's not that you can't be mysterious, but have the have the mystery be, you know, where I'm taking you tonight because I planned this cool third date. Yeah. Um, or guess what color underwear I'm wearing. Like don't You're make Yeah, don't <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> but don't make it about you know, I'm withholding these things. Mm -hmm. And and again, like, I am saying, I, I know that the advice I'm giving you is radical. Like, I'm actually saying, spill the beans. Once you build a little bit of relatedness, tell them everything. Try to scare them away. Um, I try to scare them away immediately. And then if they stick around, then I start building relatedness. Um, but you, you, you should probably not do exactly the way I do it. And because of it, the people that are around me actually like me. Mm -hmm. They want to be around me because of who I am, because I'm so refreshing and kind of upfront about everything. Yes. Um, and that allows you to be, you know, playful and, and trustworthy mm -hmm. in a way where mysterious, you know, there's a fine line between mysterious and you're a psycho. <laughs> and I didn't know that. <laughs> and and I think you want to be on the the other side the of other it. side of it. Yeah.
And it's a lot more interesting when you get to know the actual person. And yeah. you're there, not because you're curious what they're going to do next or who they are. You're Because you know who they are and you choose to be with them. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's intimacy. You know, the other thing is intrigue. Um, and let's save intrigue for spies and romance novels and things like that. And those always end weird. I mean, come on. They do. You fall in love with a pirate. Who's kidnapped you and your family. Yeah, that's already a bad idea. <laughs> that's a, this is a dysfunctional relationship. That's not romantic. Don't start there. Don't start there. All right. Thanks, Reed. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you being inscrutable again? Shh. I'm trying to be mysterious in the end. <laughs>